And it's a pleasure to, uh, to share my testimony with you tonight. Um, I tried to follow the format that, that Pastor Nick had on the document, so I'll start out with where my concept of the church way back from when I was a child. Um, I spent a lot of time with my grandmother, and she took me to church. And from a very young age, I had a concept of, you know, there was a heaven and there was a hell. And my concept, you know, I believed that if I did good things, that some bad get to go to heaven. Right? And, and I can remember, and this will, this will, you know, talk about Smokey and the Bandit. I'll use that. This will date some other people. I watched a movie with Shirley Temple one day. <laughs> who knows who Shirley Temple is? <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> there was a movie called The Bluebird, and I don't know if any of you guys remember that movie, but in that movie it showed Shirley Temple, she kind of fell asleep and she began to dream, and she started to remember her grandparents, okay? And as she began to remember them, they were sitting on a bench, and she, you know, it was like the house and, and the landscape, and, the, and her grandparents looked the same, right? So my, my interpretation of heaven since I was a little child was that vision in the movie The Bluebird. Right? Now that might seem childish, but still to today, I still carry that vision in my head. Right? And, but what happened was is, you know, I, I began to believe that whatever I did, I could earn my way into heaven. Okay? It was always I. You know, I, you know, uh, if I was a good boy, if, if I did this, if I did that, um, if I lived right, you know, I always believed that I was in control of my life. Right? I believe it was I that made me successful. You know, it was me, myself. People would tell me that I had the ability to turn a pile, a pile of manure into a pile of gold, and I believe that. Right? That's how bad it was. My family, at one point, I'll go ahead a little bit, is I joined a leadership development organization, and one of the things they wanted you to do was look at yourself introspectively and ask people what they thought of you. And my family told me I was a dark, cynical, I won't go the rest of the way. But they had some other choice words. And I, I think about that time that God grabbed a hold of me, and, and he brought a gentleman into my life that brought me to that leadership development organization. And in... From the very first meeting I went to, I sat in the front row, and, and the gentleman that was running the meeting, he, he looked right at me and he said, you know, God will only give you what you can handle. But what I heard was what you deserve. All right? So I started thinking again, what do I have to do to earn my way to heaven? All right? And I, I searched out a, a spiritual mentor, and, and he helped me to correct the thinking. He helped me to understand that, you know, reading the Bible and understanding that the only way to heaven to get back to my grandmother who passed away, because, you know, when she passed away, that's all I kept thinking about was, what am I going to do to go be with my grandma? She was such a, even, even just standing here, I get emotional. And, and I pray that, that some of you had relationships with your family like that, but I can stand here as a, almost a 50-year-old man and talk about my grandma, and I start to cry. Yeah. You know, and, and I pray that, that you guys have that. Yeah. But um, so I seeked out a, a, a spiritual mentor, and, and he brought me to Christ. And uh, I confess Jesus is my Lord and Savior. And, you know, the greatest thing on the journey is the ability that I feel now to, to sense God's word and, and God's calling and his direction for me. And, and my testimony comes, and I, I've shared this before, but I was in another church, and in that church, is, you know, I, I, I reaffirmed my, my commitment to the Lord, and, and I was baptized in that church, but I was never comfortable in that church. So I began to look for another church. But the best thing that happened in that church is they allowed me to get up a couple times and, 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 and share the word. And, and being part of that organization, I got up and I, I shared leadership a lot. But then when I got... To share the word, it felt so right, you know. But I wasn't comfortable, and I left that church, and I kind of wandered around for a while. But then I just happened to be at a company that's right behind Grace at a meeting, and I saw the sign out front. And so I decided that Wednesday night that I was going to come into Grace and, and check it out, you know. So I had that calling, and I was praying, God, lead me. You know, if this is what you want me to do, lead me, you know. And I walked in the doors in Grace that Wednesday night, and there was the IBI sign. You know, 
And I realized at that moment, there may be a calling there. If, if God, you brought me to this place for whatever reason, and the sign's right there, this, is, this has got to be home. You know, and since that time, Grace has been my church, and IBI and all you guys that are getting ready to graduate with us, all my, my family in Christ, and I appreciate that. But IBI has meant so much, and I, I shared this on my, the other video that we did, but you know, it's helped me to change in so many ways. And, and I hope for you guys that, that something that this, this class has brought to you that, that's affected your life. Um, I can't say I've, I've, I've made it there. Uh, I'm sure like many of you, we still got a long way to go. But it sure didn't hurt, right? Um, so anyway, I no longer wonder what I have to do to get to heaven. Um, I know that having accepted the Lord, by trying to live my life as, in the best way possible, that someday I'm going to get to sit on that park bench with my grandmother in fellowship with the Lord and live out eternity there. And my prayer for all of you is if you've never seen that movie, if you don't have that bluebird revelation, check the movie out. Because I'll tell you what, it's better for me to have a childish revelation of what, what heaven is, right? It's better to believe there's a heaven and find out there's not than to believe there's not and be wrong and end up somewhere else. Amen. So I pray that you all find that bluebird revelation. Amen.